Good morning guys, it's Dylan. Well, I say morning, it's morning when I made this video. Anyways, I am back again with another DJI Mavic Pro installment video from my DJI Mavic Pro series. And um, today is gonna be my first um, tutorial video, so to speak. I've done four or five other videos that were like first flight, first indoor flight, showing the drone up close, the controller, and then also the unboxing, but now, Today begins more of the tutorial type videos. Um, today's is gonna be real short, real simple. Um, it's just the initial setup and takeoff. What you need to do to um, get ready to fly your drone, um, all that good stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, um, let's just go ahead and get the drone unfolded and set down. So DJI Mavic Pro, real simple, real basic as far as <laughs> opening these up. Start with the front go down and then it folds down and then on the back you turn it around and these fold up and they fold up so there you have your drone it's ready to go there's no need to spread these um, propellers apart like this centrifugal force will take care of that on its own when the motor starts spinning so let's set the drone down oh yeah and you want to take the little bubble off it's not necessary, it's just mainly for protection, but when you're flying, it, you may be okay on a day like, you know, this morning it's real overcast, but um, it's sunny days, you're gonna catch a really bad glare from this thing, so I, I would just take it off, I always do. Okay, and then the next thing is, is um, the controller. So I have a smartphone, an iPhone 7 Plus, that I use to uh, monitor my flights. So I've hooked that in, there's a little cable running right here on this side of the remote that will plug into your iPhone 7. It comes with like the other ones for the Androids if you don't have an iPhone, if you have an Android instead. Anyways, that right there gets you your connection. You don't have to mess with Wi-Fi or worry about that, so that's very cool. Um, and then, of course, what you're going to do next is you're going to flip up your antenna. And what I've learned and what I've read is that you never want your antenna facing each other like that. That's bad. You want them basically pointing straight up like that for the strongest signal and all that good stuff. Okay, so now let's turn on the controller and let's turn on the drone. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to turn on the controller. To turn on the controller, you you'll locate the power button in the upper right of the controller. What you'll do is you'll short press that and then long press it until it comes on. And as you see there, it says connecting. So now we have to go turn on the drone. You do the same thing on the drone. So on the drone, you're gonna short press once and then press it again immediately after and hold down until the drone powers on. Now that the drone and controller are powered on, it's time to launch the DJI GO app. Okay guys, we have the DJI GO app. Okay guys, okay guys, we have the DJI GO app launched and um, there's just a few things here. Um, before you take off, you always want to make sure that you have the green ready to go um, indicator up in the upper left corner of the app on your uh, monitor on your screen, um, on your smartphone. And um, that means that we're connected to satellites and that everything's good to go. And if you're going to a, anytime you go to a new location, the first thing you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to tap on the ready to go. And then you're going to, right here on where it says compass, I don't know how good you guys can see that and try to focus a little better. Where it says compass, you're going to want to hit calibrate and then click OK. And you will see some instructions here on your screen that show you how to calibrate your compass. Basically, you rotate the drone 360 degrees, um, you know, as it is, as it sits the way it is, and then you flip it up and rotate it 360 degrees. I'm going to go do that right now. Okay guys, now our compass is calibrated. Um, just a couple things up here on the remote. Let's uh, kind of look at it and what we're seeing. Okay, so we're in GPS mode, which is good, which means we're connected to satellites. And then you can see your saddle, you can see your strength up there. You can see your um, drone battery percentage. You can see your signal strength, the transmission from your remote to your drone. In the upper right, your RPMs, how fast your motors are spinning. Upper left is miles per hour, how fast your drone's going. So, and then you have your height that your drone is up and then your distance that it is away. 
Okay, and then let's just go ahead and look at a couple of um, stats, a couple of things on the DJI Go app. I'm actually running DJI Go 4. Um, it's, I, from what I understand, it's more specifically designed for the Phantom and the uh, Mavic. There may not be any truth to that, but the one thing I have figured out is that the autofocus on the DJI, uh, on the DJI Go 4 app, it'll actually autofocus on its own, unlike on the DJI Go app, where you have to continually tap where you want to focus. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, so just looking at some of these stats, and guys, I apologize if it's not too good of a picture. I'm having to get pretty close to my camera here, and it may be having a hard time focus. But you know, you got your ready to go, your green. As I said, you never want to take off unless that's ready to go. And then up here, it says we're in GPS. Also to the right of GPS, it shows we're connected to 18 satellites, which is awesome. It shows our transmission signal strength. It shows um, it shows our battery percentage. And then of course, you know, here's your menu and all that good stuff. And um, I'll, I'll possibly do a, a more, I'll do a later video that we break down and go through the entire DJI Go app and what everything is and you know, what's going on with that. But anyways, guys, as I said, we have our green ready to go. And there's two ways that you can take off. Manually, you can push both sticks downward. So let, let's just do that real quick. And what happens is, as you will see, when you do it manually, the motors just start revving up and the blades spin really, really slow and it will not take off. So what you have to do to take off is just very slowly push downward on the sticks and then to take off, and then to take off, you'll just very slowly push up on the stick and then it takes off. But anyway, so then that's whenever you would take off and fly and all that good stuff. Not going to fly today. My next video is going to be basic flight control showing you how the maneuverability and how the functions with the joysticks and all that good stuff works. Very basic flight will be my next video. Just wanted to show you guys the initial setup and take off in this one. Okay, so to land it manually, what you're going to do is just push down on the left stick. And keep holding down because it'll come to kind of a stop. It comes to kind of a stop because the downward facing cameras and sensors sense that there's a ground and it, it just doesn't want to come down real hard. But if you continue holding down the stick, hover a little bit and then it'll go to the ground and then the motors will shut off. So that is how you manually take off and land. Now the other way that you can take off is by hitting this little launch icon here. So you hit tap that and then it comes up and it says Ensure that conditions are safe for takeoff. The aircraft will climb to an altitude of four feet and hover in place. And hover in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be like, okay, let's do it. You slide over, and as you'll see, the drone does just that. It'll just hover right there in place, uh, four feet. And then at that point, you know, you can go, you can start flying it, you know. Okay, so now, again, which I will cover basic flight controls in my next video. Okay, guys, so now, to um, automatically land it. Whenever you take off, the home point um, should automatically be recorded. I'm just gonna verify that it was. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna fly it away from me a little bit. So we can make sure that, you know, I can show you guys that the home point does work. Now what's gonna happen is, when we tell this guy to return home, it's gonna climb to an altitude so high because if you know you're taking off somewhere in the middle of a neighborhood or somewhere where there's a lot of trees, you wanna make sure you're getting over the trees. So we are simply going, there's two things you can do. You can push the return to home button on the controller located in the upper left, or you can push it right here on the, on the uh, DJI Go app. So in this case, we're just gonna push it on the controller and you have to hold it down. Now as you'll see, it's telling us that it's uh, returning to home. And here it comes. And here comes the drone climbing towards us. It went up in altitude just like I told you guys it would. And it's climbing right above us. Such a cloudy day with not much lights, having a hard time focusing. And it is slowly coming down and you know the controller's on the ground. It's landing all on its own. So that's a really cool uh, feature. I'm gonna have a single short video dedicated to just the return to home feature, so we'll get more into the details of that. But as you can see, it is going to come down and land 
really, 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 really close to where um, we took off from. And again, guys, this is all automatic. And the motor shut off. So anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. That's all for today. Um, that was, again, that's just a simple setup and takeoff um, video. Uh, upcoming videos, my next one will be basic flight controls. And then, um, and then we're gonna start diving into the fun stuff, the intelligent flight modes and all that good stuff, go into all that detail. Still have so many videos upcoming. Please hit subscribe if you're into this drone, uh, if you're into this stuff in general. Um, other channel stuff, I vlog, I do all kinds of production videos. So guys, it would mean everything if you'd subscribe. I'd sure appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Um, if you either have the Mavic Pro or you're ordering it or you're wanting it, um, I, I hope that these videos will serve to be quite educational to you and you'll learn a little bit. And um, anyways, um, this is Dylan. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good one.